What's up guys? Welcome back to another episode of Mind Something. If you're new here, my name is Jake and in today's video we're going to cover BZ Minor version 12.1.1 versus LOL Minor version 1.63 Mining Caspa trying to figure out what is the king of mining Caspa efficiency. So, you know the drill. Before we get into it, do me a favor, hit the like and hit the subscribe if you haven't already. And by the way, we had a contest in the Discord in case you missed it trying to figure out what is the most efficient GPU we could find mining Caspa. And it turns out it's a 3060 Ti by a gentleman who goes by GoGo using LOL Miner version 1.63 with NVIDIA driver 520.56.06 with locked memory at 810, core clock locked at 1335, and a core offset of 400. Now, I play this video for you but every time I do apparently it stops my screen recording process and I've done this about eight times so we'll just take a look at the screenshot here uh, so he had an uptime of a little over an hour and that was part of the contest rules I wanted to make sure that it was a video submission and not a picture that could be photoshopped and also um, had to have at least one hour of uptime and we've got some other good submissions here we've also got max steel coming in at nine mega hash per watt on some 3070s and then we also had someone point out that there are some gpus out there that do report the hash rate incorrectly in software specifically for laptop GPUs so here we had some laptop 3070s coming in at uh, I think 10 mega hash per watt reported in software yeah anywhere from 9 all the way up to 10 which you know obviously anything that we know is an issue um, would disqualify you from the contest unfortunately but from what I can tell, uh, according to GoGo, -Go, this is a discrete desktop graphics card 3060 Ti. Uh, he does say that he's got a ton of them, and the best he can get out of the rest of them is about 9.5 mega hash per watt, which is uh, about the same as what I'm getting on a 3070 Ti. Uh, as you can see, this is Tatooine and it's got six 3070 TIs and the most efficient one comes in somewhere between 9.3 and 9.5 uh, most of them getting over 8 mega hash per watt which is awesome and this is using LOL miner by the way but we are going to show you the difference between the two of them and also cover things outside of efficiency uh, that, that I've noticed so uh, first as far as fees are concerned 1% dev fee for BZ Miner and a 0.75% dev fee for LOL Miner. So not a significant difference between them there. Uh, if we take a look at my 3070 Ti rig, we're getting 486-ish mega hash all the way down to 52 watts in software all the way up to 61 watts. And bear in mind, core set at 440. When you set up overclocks on LOL Miner, it is a little bit, uh, maybe one more step than you would have to with BZ Miner. But as you can see, I've got the locked memory clock and the locked core clock at 1410 across all six GPUs. So one thing to know about LOL Miner is having to set the core if if for some reason you change the core or you change your fan speed or you change your power limit or your memory anything that you change in this screen or across all the GPUs it will default to those settings and it will no longer use the extra arguments that you put in there to lock the memory clock and the core clock so just be aware of that you may need to relaunch the flight sheet if you make any changes here so going back to Naboo uh, we're getting about 805 mega hash at 113 watts 
and 3070 is coming in at 544 mega hash at 80 watts and this is with the core set at 350 and you can see my extra arguments here as well so we're setting the 3080s at 1650 and the 3070s at 1400 these are numbers that I'm getting off of a spreadsheet that I made for uh, radiant overclocks and I believe I've shared this a few times on the channel but just taking the most efficient uh, for each particular GPU and kind of plugging them in here now one thing to bear in mind also with LOL miner is the core clock being locked works in increments of 15 so 1400 doesn't really work it's either 1395 or 1410 take your pick but uh, according to what someone told me in discord that is the case I don't know if that's the case with BZ minor uh, but it will default to whatever is closest so if you put 1400 it'll default to 1395 I believe uh, anyway so using about 80 watts on a 3070 is a bit too much but we're getting uh, a fairly close efficiency rating uh, dropping it down to the most efficient settings and I don't know if this is the most efficient settings on a 3070 I'm just kinda of playing around with some numbers here so the first 3070 in a different rig we have set at 310 and we're getting 495 mega hash so about 60 mega hash less but we're only using 59 watts as opposed to 80 or 88 and then here's another 3070 with a core offset of 330 instead of 310 and we're getting the same mega hash but using 65 watts may just be silicone lottery but you know I think the higher you start pushing the core here um, it's definitely going to increase your power usage so you can see the 3080 that we have is only getting 732 mega hash at 94 watts with 250 on the core as opposed to 350 that we had on the other is getting about 805 mega hash at about 113 watts so yeah I just wanted to give you guys a variety so that you could see you know how to dial in these overclocks trying to get as efficient as possible but I'm putting all of the efficiency settings into a little spreadsheet here and also tracking the uh, shares submitted so I'd like to do this over a 24 hour period unfortunately I don't have enough time and you know I'm trying to get this video to you guys as quickly as possible so we're just gonna base it on an hour uh, which really isn't a fair test but I'll keep you guys updated and let you know Anyway, so we're going to pause the video here. I'm going to take some time and get at least an hour's worth of hash rate using BZ Miner, and I'll be right back. And we're back. And guess what? It's not going to be as easy to declare a winner as I thought it was going to be. It looks like LOL Miner is definitely on top as far as hash rate and efficiency is concerned in software. But, surprise, surprise, after a one hour test, BZ Miner is actually coming out on top in shares. Now, based on these results that I'm getting so far, I don't think it would be easy to declare a winner after just one hour. And for that reason, we're going to continue to monitor the results. Now, I did let LOL Miner run overnight, so I got a full nine hours of hash rate, or excuse me, out of shares. And I went ahead and listed those here. And currently we're up to about two hours on BZ Miner. So I'm going to let this run another seven hours and then we can get a better idea of where we're coming in at. But you can already tell uh, seven mega hash per watt, six mega hash per watt and 8.37, 8.7.5. So we're, we're very close as far as hash rate efficiency is concerned. But again, it does look like, you know, if you go back to what's being reported here, so we're only getting 460 mega hash at about 55 watts on my 3070 TIs. And we were at, I think, 485 previously at about 52 watts on LOL Miner. Now, one other thing that I'm noticing is 
uh, LOL minor does fluctuate. So periodically, I, I noticed that, you know, let's say, for instance, the 3070 Ti's were getting 485 mega hash at roughly 52 watts or so. For several minutes at a time, the hash rate would drop, very similar to what you see when you're mining Ergo. And it would drop down to like 430, 440, and the power usage would stay about the same, but the, the hash rate would drop substantially. And that would last anywhere from a minute to four minutes or so. And then it would just kick back in. Kind of odd behavior. I don't know exactly what causes that. But uh, yeah, looking at the one hour test, like I said, it's, it's not going to be easy to declare a winner uh, based off of this. Now, if you consider that LOL Miner is showing a lot more reported hash rate, uh, after a one hour test, you would expect the shares to be much higher. But in fact, BZ Miner did come in just slightly ahead so let's give it a little bit more time and i'll be back here in just a moment okay guys i am back and we are just now finishing up nine hours total on bz minor and i'm just gonna let the results speak for themselves so we got two minutes left and this is the last one we've already hit uh nine hours and I've already recorded the results for this rig as well as the other one. So this is the last one. We got two minutes left. We're sitting at 1,049 shares. I'm going to go ahead and show you where we sit right now. And by the way, uh, this was a huge pain in the ass. <laughs> because one of the rigs, which would be Naboo, I didn't catch it immediately. But look at my uptime here of 42 minutes. This one has been resetting. It's happened about five or six times since I began the test. And the first time I noticed it pretty early, thank goodness. And I've been just writing down what the shares were at um, every few minutes, making sure I catch it before it resets the clock, so to speak. But as you can see, it's been up for 43 minutes, and I'm just writing down how many shares. And I've got a total for this one already. So that one was at 1,061 compared to 1,000 in LOL Miner. And I'm certain that I missed some shares. Uh, I don't know exactly how many. Could have been 5, could be 30. Uh, I'm not exactly sure, but regardless, even after missing some, we're still coming in slightly higher than LOL Miner. And as you can see, Alderaan uh, highly outperformed LOL Miner with BZ Miner. And I should point out that I did actually update uh, this particular rig to the newest beta, which is 12.2.0B3. Uh, he's currently working on another release, and this is supposed to have a little bit increased hash rate as well. And that may actually be the case. As you can see, the other rigs are still running 12.1.1. So there you go. And there we are, exactly 9 hours at 1,050 shares. So let's go back to our spreadsheet. So 1,050 shares. And there it is, guys. So 3158 on LOL Miner after nine hours, and 3233 on BZ Miner after nine hours. Now, if you take your dev fee out of the equation here, so LOL Miner has got a dev fee of 0.75%, and uh, this should be, yeah, that's correct. So they are 1% on BZ Miner. So as you can see, even after the dev fee, BZ Miner did come out on top with a nine hour test on shares. Now, as far as uh, reported software wattage, uh, we are coming in quite a bit less on power with LOL Miner. And we are getting more hash rate in software as well with LOL Miner. But really, what matters the most is how many shares you're getting at the pool. And based on a 9-hour test, believe it or not, 
BZ Miner is coming out on top, which is a it's a surprise to me. Um, even after talking to the dev from BZ Miner, uh, you know he was uh, he was pretty certain, or uh, I don't want to say shocked at how much hash rate that they were getting, but uh, really surprised. And he's been working very hard. And by the way, uh, I would expect another version of BZ Miner to be coming out here in the near future. And at this point, guys, I think we're probably tapped out on uh, how much hash rate we can get out of these particular GPUs. Now, also one thing that I should point out is BZ Miner uh, does have a much better hash rate for 10 series cards specifically. Um, I, I haven't tested this myself because I don't have a 10 series card, but from what I'm gathering, uh, if you've got a 10 series card, BZ Miner is probably going to get you a little bit better hash rate. Um, on the 20 series cards, I, I have some 2070s that I'm hosting for somebody else, so I can start doing some testing on those as well. But as we sit with these particular GPUs, ranging from a 3080 Ti to a 3060 Ti, uh, looks like BZ Miner is on top. Now, as far as who, who we should declare the winner, you know, when it comes to the amount of power that we're using, the the difference between the shares is pretty insignificant. And I, I'm going to go ahead and give the win to LOL Miner for being more efficient. Um, but perhaps another test is what we need. Like I said, this was a nine-hour test. I don't really feel like that is a fair test. I think at least a 24-hour test minimum. But I'd like to see something like one million shares total and see who, who hits it first. But, man, what, what an incredible test. And to, kudos to both of BZ Miner and LOL, LOL Miner. You guys have done a phenomenal job with these things. And my hat is off to you guys. So... That's all I got for the video. Appreciate you guys watching. Stay tuned for the next one. By the way, uh, we do have Super Chats enabled now. So if you guys enjoy this type of content and want to give back, it'd be much appreciated. Anyways, I will see you guys on the next one.